What is up? My name is Desmond, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you what is inside Shooting Game Builder. And this is version, um, it was a beta test uh, 50 of uh, 1.0 of Shooting Game Builder. And this is a start of just a crash course of this game builder which you can use to create shoot 'em ups you can create a horizontal shmup or a vertical shmup and this is a very powerful program and it's free as well and there's been a lot of games made with this builder hopefully you know with this video can help you out and make something very very cool either you know for something that you want to release commercially or you know if you want to just like use it to practice you know when when playing uh shmups so we'll get into like the details of all that a little bit later but i'm just going to just show you just around the program we won't be adding anything at all we'll do that in a future video so first things first when you open up this program after you download it from um this website and again we're at 50 right now beta test 50 and when you open it up you're gonna need to change the language from Japanese to English because I'm assuming people that are watching this are English speaking and reading gamers <laughs> and creators so you, you you go down to this option right here it's the um, second to the last one scroll down right here right now it is at Japan go to English and then they're gonna ask you to restart the program so you're gonna have to restart the program let's do that right now Now it's in English. Thank goodness, because at first this game builder was not in English. It was only in Japanese in the early, early betas. All right, so as you see right now, there's like a bunch of blank space. This is where you're going to be testing a lot of stuff at, and a lot of windows are going to be open up. Okay, so let's go at the top. Right here, you have your standard. Uh, buttons and stuff like that file edit test we will open it up right now and as you see right here it's all blank nothing is there once so you start adding things in and, and you start registering things things will become a little more populated deploy deploy means for you to basically render out your game into a exe option this is all the different options for your game you set the resolution meaning the screen size the window magnification if you want it scaled a certain amount title of your game executable name icon the splash screen file when it opens up it'll show like an image of what it you know of whatever you want um, save folder so when you're creating it actually saves the progress of your creation I don't know what the time interval is and I'm gonna be honest with you um, I think this is this is something I'm not too sure about but I'm guessing it's something to do with the uh, the amount of I would say they, they call it characters but the, the amount of activity and sprites and stuff that is on the screen at once and preloaded sprites this is something that I'm um, I'm not too sure as far as like um, its usefulness right now I haven't really dwelled into that just yet and the fault font you can add font you can add a uh, default layout we'll get into that in a different video Default bullet, default explosion, 
default explosion sound effect, default stage. So when you test things out, it'll be at the same stage. You can also disable um, the fade in and out um, of stage when it transitions and stuff like that. What you want, the text goes for game over, um, text for continue times, the countdown and whatnot. I usually leave that alone. What you want when the game is paused and if you want it to display at the center of the screen or not. You can set a pause button that way on your gamepad or, or whichever else you can um, set that sound effects for when the game is paused and game over music and if you want it to loop or whatever. And we're going to player. So right now we don't have any players registered right now. This is where you add all your ships. This is where you add your lives. They call them players, your bombs, your continue amounts. You set it to any amount that you want. If you want it to infinite, from what I understand, you put in a negative one and it'll be infinite. Down here, you can turn on and off if you want to enter, you know, aim and ranking and stuff like that. If you want to save, play the replay, if you want to save the score. And you can put in um, a certain string if you don't, you don't want you to put your name in. And right here is scene, meaning stages. Okay, so you, you can set a, a title. I would say, quote unquote, stage. So when the game loads up, you know, it could show title screen. Right here is player select, where you select your players. We'll get into that in a future video. We'll learn how to make something like that. Opening is after the player select something that happens after opening ending you know if at the end of the game if you want to like have credits rolling or something like that you can definitely do that and rankings you'll set a ranking table we'll get into that in a future video and over here this is where you add your stages all the stages that you want you add them all here we'll get into how to add that in a future video. And this right here is to add an auto demo. So when the title screen, the title is at a certain, I would say time. Okay, so you see left for 10 seconds. When auto demo started, it'll actually have an automatic demonstration. Kind of like, you know, how it is in arcades when you, you know, you don't put your quarter in or you don't press anything. How it'll have like a, just a demonstration. You can definitely do that. And configuration. This is where you set different buttons for either pad or keyboard. Stuff like that. You can select whatever function that you want. Again, we'll get into that in a future video. You can set the amount of buttons. And the background is when you press escape, when you deploy your game. You can't test it out when you're making it, okay? I usually leave it off. That way you can see everything clearly. But again, we'll get into that in a future video. And right here, it says displayed when you press escape key during the game. And again, we can't test it when we are um, in testing. And you can set um, all these different options. The language, um, I think, honestly, I would keep it to English. That way, when it loads up, it just automatically loads to English. And you can select the default of the scale of the window and if you wanted to desync i haven't had much issues with that <clears throat> so yeah that's kind of it with the uh game setting i'm gonna hit save editor setting basically um this kind of shows the background of when you're uh, making sprites and stuff like that right here in a uh, background color and this is for um, when you have a bunch of windows open, how you can just like edit the positions and stuff like that. And right here, save projects to separate files at regular intervals. So before I said that I didn't know, I just learned right here, this is the amount. Go to save. And again, we already changed the language over here. 
shows you what version we're at right now like i said before we're at version 1.0.0.50 and again check that website the blog every now and then for a new test build for the beta because the developer is always changing things keep that in mind and also help right here this is a very very good tutorial it's in english and japanese and yeah they explain to you a lot of what's going on in the builder and whatnot so yeah definitely read that and we'll actually be going al alongside of it in a future video you know just to kind of give you a um you know, just just a, a video and audio component with it as well so yeah this, this is a very very good tutorial always open it up if you feel that you have any issues or if you have any questions about anything that's in the program and again here on, on the main screen on the right categories you can move that table or that section around and this is good for organization because over here on the left there's all these different categories for different things and you know for sure that for all the things that you create in the separate um, project folders, I will call it, or, or sections, you're gonna need to basically organize it for whatever it is. Maybe it's a bullet, maybe it's a, like an enemy ship or something like that. Maybe it's something related to something else. You're gonna need to definitely um, add that in a category. And you just do that by opening up whatever that is in a section and go to category and then you just select it right here using the, the check box add in what it is and then you hit the side but we're not going to do anything for this one this uh, this particular alt sprite image right now so basically i mean we're, if we're, <laughs> we're actually at this section right here why don't we just go into it real quickly so this is where you're going to be adding in your sprites and you're going to be editing them and making patterns based off different ranges and whatnot and you can add different banks this is where you add your image file and right here you can add hit boxes hurt boxes and you can make animations so we'll get into that in a future video we'll learn how to do that sound you can add your own sound effects we'll get into that into a future video music you can add background music we'll get into that and learn how to do that in a future video Player will add a player and register it for it can show up on the test screen. We'll get into that. We'll learn how to do that. We'll make a background and show you what's going on when you make backgrounds. Stages. We'll show you um, how to make and create stage. Mirage will show you how to make bullet patterns. That's going to be fun. Script will get into how to edit and create scripts for your characters. And characters is basically, I would say, I, I would call it almost just like the actors. It's kind of like in a, <laughs> a video, um, or, or excuse me, a, a movie or a you know, TV show or, or something else. So like, like basically something that is going to be controlled that has a behavior. We'll show you how to edit that in a future video. 
and to make those formation you can basically make a formation from different characters or one character and that's good for like organization or if you just want to have like one thing kind of assigned to many many different characters together we'll show you how to do that font we'll get into how to create fonts and add fonts and tips and tricks with that uh, layout will show you how to make the layout for your game like for example this is all the different boxes for the many different sections of the game screen like we'll open up test and you see how that kind of lines and whatnot and this is for the gauge for the lives bomb we here this is the main screen of the game and you can basically change it to any size that you want like if you want no like sidebar you can do that if you want a sidebar if you want sidebars you can definitely do that we'll also get into paths and paths are a very um, cool way to create movement options for the characters and whatnot and you get to add points and then you know maybe make a character go from here to there make them scale make them look small or look big and then slowly reduce or increase scaling until it gets to another amount then you can change how they rotate and stuff like that is actually quite cool and you can change the type if you want it to look more linear or back to where it was where it kind of curves and stuff like that this, this is a very very powerful tool right here and yeah that's mainly it so we're going to learn a lot in the future videos so in the next video we're going to show you how to add a sprite a background a stage a player a character and show it all all in motion and then from there we'll get into more of the i would say deeper aspects of the concepts in this builder we'll kind of also go alongside the manual and kind of just just show you how to basically kind of put things together and I will also kind of like share with you my experience using um, these different operations and stuff like that. And also, you know, we might even do a few videos where I will show you the example or template that Shooting Game Builder provides, which I recommend you playing it and then editing what's in the template. But the thing is, you're going to need to know how to um, like edit and or add or remove things in SG Builder before, um, you know, you do that for sure. And we might also um, kind of get into showing off different games that uh, SG uh, Builder has uh, been used for that many creators have used. We'll definitely get into that and many, many other things. So if you're interested and excited to learn more with me using Shooting Game Builder, please subscribe and I will update you on, um, or you'll be updated whenever a new video is up. And also just to let you know that I don't know everything in this program. This is something I'm going to be learning with you, but I'm just going to be sharing with you things that I've learned. And if there's something that I don't know of, I will in a future video, let you know exactly what I've learned. So stay tuned for all that. So again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Again, be sure to subscribe to this channel and we'll dive deeper into shooting game builder for sure. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.